Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm gonna try to teach you how to create a simple jump scare that I do it my own way. So I don't know if it's like correct way or anything, but it does work for me. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So for start, we are gonna go to the mixamo.net, uh, mixamo.com. I'm gonna put the link into the description. We're gonna find uh, one character. This is just for example and uh, I choose this one because yeah it looks good for the horror game so we are gonna download it we'll download it in like FBX uh, typos I'm just gonna press download after we download that we might wanna get animation I'm gonna get uh, animation this animation looks very good for the horror games <coughs> Uh, yeah this looks good we can uh, we can make it faster if we want but I think this looks pretty good yeah, this looks good and we are gonna download it without skin everything the rest can be like that okay so now when we download this we'll go to our Unreal Engine and we're gonna Create, let's create folder jump scare. We're gonna put first we are gonna put the skeleton. You can import it. You can ignore this. So after we imported this, we're gonna want to create animation. Import animation. So we're gonna import the animation and we are gonna select this skeleton that we just imported here. Okay, perfect. So now the way we are gonna create jump scares uh, is by trigger box, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you're just gonna get trigger box from here. We're gonna scale it. We just press R to get the scaling thing, and we're gonna put it like this. You can put it here. Okay. So now, when we created this, we are gonna create a blueprint actor like this, and we will call it a first jump scare. We are gonna open that blueprint actor. We are gonna create skeletal mesh here. So we are creating skeletal mesh basically, so we can import the model that we set here this looks good and now we are gonna create our we are gonna put our animation sorry create we're just gonna put our animation that we download from Mixamo this looks good and we will tick it so it doesn't loop so once create uh, once animation is done it's not gonna loop like this so it works for us perfect. Okay. So now when we spawn it, let's spawn it like this. I like it like this. Uh, you can always press and on keyboard to like place it on the floor. You can place it here. Now what I want to do, I want to check how long is this animation. So you can check it right here. So this animation is uh, 0 0.7 seconds. Yeah, okay. So with this all done, we can go to level blueprint and we can create reference for, we can first select this and create reference for this trigger box. We'll do it like this. Right click on blueprint, create a reference, click on it, add event for trigger box, collision, add on actor begin overlap. Okay. So from here, uh, we are gonna get spawn actor. But before that, we will create do once here so 
it just means so when you are like in game you are not gonna go through it and back like you you're not gonna do it more than once you cannot trigger the box when you are like walking back to your destination so this is gonna be propped only once uh okay we can split this to struct pin and here where it says the spawn transform the transform location what i like to do is uh this this is this is why i put the, put it here i will just copy this i'm gonna copy the location of my actor simple like this yeah this works good and here i'm gonna put delay that is basically gonna be uh, 0 0.7 because our animation we can put it like this like something like this doesn't matter because our animation lasts for 0 0.7 seconds so after that delay what we want is to destroy the actor I will connect this uh, you can add the sound as well if you want. So basically, you just play sound to the. And after that, you can choose whatever you want. Let's choose something. Something more loud. Yeah, like this. You can always put your sound. Uh, yeah, this should be working. Pretty sure. Oh, um, we didn't select the class. So our class is named first jump scare. And that should be done. Okay, let's go and test it out. Oh, yeah. So we need to remove this thing that we put. And we can test. You see? So this is my way of creating simple jump scares. Obviously, you can create anything you want with uh, animations you have. Doesn't have to be this one. Um, you don't even have to destroy the actor if you don't want. But I find this really good for like putting uh, objects to shock the player. Like you can, uh, you can like play the Tunstorm animation in your horror game. You can like uh, take down the lights with this function. If you want, I can show you how to uh, turn off the lights when he goes through the trigger box, but that's for the, another tutorial. So yeah, I hope you like this video. This is my way of creating jump scare. It does work for me, so yeah. Thank you for watching and see ya in the next video.